Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It is Sunday, 12 14 14. And I'm coming back to make my 12 Days of Christmas videos. I started doing it back in December of 2009, and I've done it every year with the exception of last year because I was at home in Ohio caring for my mom during her end of life hospice. So it's a new year. Uh, and I love making videos, sharing videos, watching videos, learning from people, learning what to do, learning not what to do. Uh, and I think this is a really good time of year where we, as former obese people, uh, need a little extra support too. Uh, it's trying both, not just both, but financially, emotionally, uh, nutritionally, it's just so much with the holidays, right? So this is day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas, and I'll go down from there until the 25th. So uh, feel free to comment below, and if there's anything specific that you wanna hear about, uh, let me know, and I will do my best to cover it in a topic. I feel like I've covered everything, you know? So I guess that's kinda where this video is gonna go, is that in March, I will be, March 2015, I will be six years post-op from my lap band surgery. March 23rd, 2009, I had lap band surgery, and my highest weight that I've ever seen was 269 on the scale, and when I went in to have weight loss surgery, I was 244.6. So, I set a goal to lose 99 pounds. So from March 2009 to July 2010, I worked at it 68 weeks to lose my 99 pounds. And during that time, that 68 weeks, there were 11 weeks where I either gained weight or maintained, stayed the same. So since then, um, being in maintenance uh, since July 2010, I've continued to uh, be here, be a part of this community and uh, share what I do. Uh, life has changed and it's like a moving orb, you know, um, but I'm always going to be a weight loss surgery patient and I'm always working on progressing, progress, not perfection of where I can go. So uh, I'm moving into week 300 post-op. Yeah, Monday, tomorrow will be week 300 post-op. And I'm wearing an investment uh, sweatsuit that I have, uh, you know, pretty happy with this. I bought this back in 2011, I think it was, and uh, spent some good money on it at True Religion. And it still fits. Like, that's the gift that keeps on giving, right? Is that you can buy things and invest in them and wear them forever. So those are... That's something that I still get excited about. I love shopping in my own closet um, and trying to remember, when was the last time I wore this? So, you know, through the journey, um, five and a half plus years, uh, I remain accountable. You know, I, I made videos for like almost 187 weeks in a row. Um, so I've kind of been off that. It kind of gets hard to, to come back here to YouTube um, when you reach your goal weight and you maintain it for several years, uh, and you're living, you know, I don't think that my focus has, you know, gone away from weight loss surgery and all the efforts and things I do on a daily basis, but it's not necessarily the core of my being anymore. And I'd say for a good three years, it really was my core. Um, I've taken that and just expanded on it, uh, both personally and professionally. So it's just been a wild, exciting journey. Uh, it just seems to keep getting better. I don't, that might sound cliche, but it really does just keep getting better. Non-scale victories, phenomenal. You know, like the clothing for today, running your fastest race, running your furthest distance, trying a new fitness program. I started week three of Body Beast today. It's a beach body program. If you've been watching my channel, you know P90X, nor original one, two and three I've done. 
Uh, and I'm in the process of dropping body fat. About a year and a half ago when I got my Withing Smart Body Analyzer scale, my body fat was 12%. Um, and when I started this program three weeks ago, it was 17.9. And today it was 17%. So yes, the scale matters, 141 pounds today below my goal weight. Uh, that's how I stay in these jeans, you know, or in these pants or in my clothes. Uh, but, and I still stand on the scale every week and I got my notebook and I write every weight down, how many weeks in maintenance and how many weeks post-op. I still stand on the scale almost every day too. You know, it's a part of my routine, just like brushing my teeth. Um, but it doesn't really move or shift too much anymore. So it's fun to have something different to chase. So my goal is to get back down to 12% on the body fat. Um, so that's something I'm working on. Uh, food, you know, I've lived off the whole kiss, keep it simple and um, satisfying. And I'm making a cookbook for it because I've been asked so many times. And now where I'm living, we have this gourmet kitchen and I'm inspired to cook again. And uh, my husband has gone six days at a time. and. I'm getting crafty in the kitchen. They're not necessarily kiss recipes, so they take a little bit more time, uh, but they're fun and they're protein and produce driven and they're healthy and they meet all my guidelines that I like with my eating. So that's something new and encouraging and fun to be doing. That is related to weight loss surgery, but it's something else I always used to like to cook uh, and bake. Um, and I kind of got away from all of that just to keep it simple uh, and to learn about my body and, and that's really where you know I am on the journey it's a uh, it's an evolution process so uh, that's kind of where I'm at today uh, heading into week 300 post-op uh, so I hope that you're all doing well um, I don't get to watch as many videos as I used to I would love, love, love as a Christmas gift to hear from all those guys out there that are watching, maybe watching, that are from the class of 2009. Uh, I, I kind of feel like many of us kind of transferred our energy over to Facebook, um, which is cool, but videos are so much fun and would love for those of you who haven't made a video in a really long time to step out, get in front of the camera again and just come in and say hello, you know. Uh, those are the best videos when I haven't seen you in a long time and you, and you pop up. So, Merry Christmas, ho ho ho, happy holidays. Let me know if you have any topics you want to hear about. And I'll be back tomorrow for another episode of the 12 Days of Christmas. Thanks guys. Bye.